Hello, this is Valerie at My Scrap Chick, and today we're putting together the new frog popcorn wrap. And this is a wrap that has a belly band around it. Then you open this up, and inside is a packet of popcorn, microwave popcorn, and a fun valentine. You can slip the belly band back on, and it holds holds everything closed um, and somebody asked earlier and I thought I'd show it does hold the standard popcorn from like pop secret I checked them all out and they're pretty much all of the same size bag for the microwave and I think it's like um, typically a, like a, a three and a half by four or six inch bag so it'll hold those um, and so today we're going to get started putting this together and the first thing I'm going to put together will be this the front and back cover and these two pieces here are identical it's a back layer and then the spine and the cover and I'll show you how those go together after I put, put the panels on here And we line that up. There's a, a fold line right along here. If in doubt, you can fold it. And double check where you're placing it, but it'll have a slight black border all the way around. And then we put this part on. And the same thing, we line it up with the even border all the way around. And I like to take my squeegee and rub it all down. And so now we have this. One will be the, the front. The other will be the inside for the back. And they'll go together like this. But before I put these together, we're going to do the pocket for the inside. And I've already placed these two on here. These are, again, the decorative panels. I'll put this one on, on the side. And then right there. And so now we're going to form the pocket and there's two tabs here. We're going to fold these tabs down and we're going to glue those to the inside like that. I'm going to hold that down until it dries. And then fold down the other tab. Okay, and when those are dry, we're going to fold these down like this and this one here. And I tuck just a little bit of glue down here. And then All along there and I'm going to put it on the inside and what I want to do is I want to line it up the bottom of this is going to be lined up with the bottom of the inside back cover and what I like to do is take my ruler a flat edge and rub it down in there and that presses those tabs down. Make sure they're good and dry. Here we go. And now we're going to attach this to the front cover. And so what I've got this folded back. This is folded up and I'm just going to put glue along here. And 
and then fold that down flat and it scoots right up against that this edge right here press that down now and we have that ready to go and now we're going to work on the frog that's going to go on the front and so the frog he has these layers and what I'm going to do is put glue on this part. The reason I like to put the glue on this piece is because there's holes here and I can avoid getting glue coming through the holes by putting the glue on this side. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this flat and I'm going to turn this over so it lines up and place it on the back. And what I have done is made, I've made this backing, the lighter green backing, I made it a little smaller than the front to make it a little easier to line up. So there will be a slight green edge all the way around. But when you flip it over, you shouldn't have any glue popping through. And now we're going to put, this is his face that's going to go on the front. And so I'm going to put his eyeballs on first. The whites of his eyes. And that will have a slight border around there of green. And then his little heart studded eyes. I like to use tweezers to hold these. And I'm going to line up the middle of the heart right along the middle of the eyes there. And press that down. So I've decided to pop dot this piece onto the face. So I've already added the pop dots, but I wanted to show you a little trick I've done with pop dots because I don't know if you ever noticed, like if you've got something you've created and you have pop dots, sometimes you can see the pop dotting from the side of view. So what I like to do is I like to take the color that I'm using, like this is green. So I'm taking a green marker and I'm just going around and I'm putting glue around, or excuse me, the ink all the way around the edges of that pop dot. So that way the pop dots don't show from the side view. Take these off. And I'm going to line that up right along the same edge as the top of the face. So he's all done and he's ready to go on the front cover. And what he's going to line up, all these edges are going to line up perfectly there, but there's going to be some pink exposed there. So here we go. And we'll line him up. And so the cover, the cover, main cover is done. And now we're going to work on the belly band. And the belly band has two pieces here. Just line these up. Sit 
that aside for a moment and we'll put together the popcorn box. And these are the layers of the popcorn box. I'm missing a piece of popcorn. Hang on a minute. There we go. That's better. And the last piece of popcorn. There. Now I'm going to put the tag on the front. And I did the same thing with this too with the pop dots. I put a piece of pop dot on there and I'm going to do the red inking along the sides. So it's better hidden. And this is going to come with some printable tags. Um, there's I Totally Love You, You're Totally Awesome, and there's one more. Happy Valentine's, I believe. Okay, so we'll put this tag on the front. Leaving a border all the way around. And then take off the backing for the pop dot. And attach that to the front. Right about center. Now I'm going to put it onto the belly band. So what I like to do is I want to line up the top edges of the popcorn box and glue that to the to the belly band. So I'm kind of guesstimating the glue is going to go right along that part. That's all the all the more you're going to need right there. And then place it right about the center. Press it down. And now we're going to attach it to the box before I put the hands on. But I'm going to tuck a, um, a bag of the popcorn in first because I like to I like to do that before I put the belly band on to make sure I don't get it too tight. So the popcorn is in there. I center the belly band right where I want it and then just gently push down along the sides and then around the back and the same on this side and I've just found that if you don't crease if you don't have a hard crease on these it makes it easier to slide the belly band on and off and I don't try to get it too tight um, I want it snug enough to where it stays on but uh, loose enough to make it easy to slide on and off and so I put it on the back side at the, at the top here and on the top here on the front and then just hold that closed like I said not too tight you want to make sure you still got some little bit of give do that and let it dry And then when it's dry, we're going to check to make sure it slides okay. Whoops, he's eating his popcorn. <laughs> and then we're going to add the hands. And I just put a little bit in the middle here. I don't go all the way to the edge, just a little in the middle. That way it gives me some leeway for lining it up. And I like to tuck it under the tag. Press it down. And then the same with this. Slide it up there. Press that down. And he's all done. And he's ready to be given away for a Valentine gift. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.